Hey, boys and girls, uh, good to see you again. Um, here we are back with the, uh, the new uh, Tesla 321. And uh, today what we're gonna do is uh, talk about the interior. I actually um, love the interior. Um, we all know that I like the simple lines. I'm not a big fan of chrome, and uh, there's not a heck of a lot of that in here. The, the chrome, I mean. The, uh, the simple lines are everywhere, and I, I, really, do, uh, I really do appreciate the, uh, the, the way they put this together. So the big question for me is, why, why is the interior so much better than the exterior? I mean, um, I, I, I like the clean lines on the outside of the car as well, but let's just take a general uh, discussion. We've, we've done a little bit in here about touching and feeling and removing and putting things back. And, and the first thing that comes up is that, uh, apart from the fact that it's clean and simple, it's also easy build. This is a very easy build. I, uh, I think that the guy that did this should talk to the guy that's doing the work in a body shop. There, there's got to be some changes made here. And um, whoever this person is, man, woman, I don't care, um, they're doing a good job. I'm going to start with one piece that, uh, that I like a lot. So we look over here, and one of the things that I liked was the fact that they've gone away from the um, thermoforming or thermoset um, uh, headliner, and they've moved to the plastic injection. I think this is an excellent idea, and where did we see that? Okay, they, they, that's what they had in the Model Y. So some of the stuff that we saw in the Model Y has translated here into the Model 3, and that's good stuff. So let's dive in here a little bit. Um, before we do that, though, let's do this. So let's look at this side panel here. This is, a, uh, this is just a basically um, a panel that you put in place to, uh, to hide what's going on in back of it, all of the real manufacturing stuff. And this is off of the original Model 3. And, uh, and you can see that it's wrapped around the outside edge even though this, this type of a process, usually you don't have to do that. You can see here, you can see the, uh, the, uh, the material here is bleeding through. Um, if we look at what we found on the, on the, model, uh, on the model Y, um, you can see uh, it's, it's, again, similar, but not quite the same. But again, it's, it's wrapped around the outside edge, and. Really, that's not, uh, it doesn't have any benefit. It's just uh, expense without value. <clears throat> but now on the Model 3, you can see that we got rid of, or they got rid of the, um, they got rid of the sound editing material. And you can see that it's, uh, it's a close shave. There's no, um, there's no any extra or whatever. This is just, you put the cloth in, you shoot over the top of it, and you're done. This is good, it saves money, saves weight, um, and it, it gets rid of waste. Okay, so I pulled these out again because I wanted to let you know about um, what it is to do good engineering. Now, on this one, the, the pad was wrapped around the outside edge of the, uh, of the substrate, and they added noise dampening material. But you don't see it on here. So your question, of course, should be, well, why not? Does that mean it's gonna be noisier? Well, actually, it isn't. It's quieter. Why is that? Why can I go from this to this and the car is quieter inside? And the reason for that is because when you design a vehicle, <clears throat> um, you do a lot of different type of um, computer-aided engineering. And one of those tricks is to find where the harmonics are and where your noise is coming from and vibration and whatnot. And you try to um, isolate those, those particular problems. And if you do have a problem, then what you do is you put a damper that's directly on top of that hum, and you got rid of it. That's what they've done here. They got rid of the hum by changing what's going on in the floor pan or maybe in the console itself. And that way, you get rid of the noise there, and you don't try and and, uh, and get rid of the noise by adding extra stuff. So let's go down and have a look inside a little bit. Let me use my little pointer here. Now we're gonna move inside and we're gonna look at, first off, something that we thought was kind of odd before. So if you look way up here, and we'll try and put B-roll or something in there. If you look way up here, you can see a little bracket. 
That bracket is for a sensor. The sensor bracket before was uh, 3D printed. That's kind of expensive. And it just begs to tell everybody that uh, we made a mistake. Now that's gone. It's molded right in, and that's something that we, uh, we kind of like to see. I really liked one other issue, this right here. This is called dual pane glass. This is great for getting rid of wind noise, any kind of noise. These are real, this is expensive, and, but my gosh, what a difference. When it comes to, uh, to noise abatement, this is uh, about as good as it gets. So um, um, I, think that, uh, I think that really the other parts of this car that I'm really excited about <clears throat> have to do with little things. It's a simple thing, but for me, it's, uh, it's kind of important. So let's look at this. I put it in and it starts charging. And all I have to do is lay it there. And quite frankly, in driving position, this is perfect. I can see everything. It's, this is a really a good idea. Simple, but good. I really like that. Let's look at another thing I like. The other one had a flip version for this little cubby right here. Now what you do is you just push it out of the way, do whatever you want to do, and then magic. I like little things with dampers and stuff like that. That's a really, uh, a really nice, uh, a nice feature. I like that a lot. And the other thing I like is that it works. Remember last time when I tried to do the other flip thing, um, it, uh, it wouldn't work for me. I think that flip thing was designed by the same guy that did the uh, frunk. Okay, so let's, one last thing here um, that, uh, that, I, that I kinda like. That, that sentry cam sends data directly to this um, USB stick in the glove box. Now I'm told that you can buy extras if you want for about 30, cra 30 bucks a crack. Um, and I don't know whether I'd need that, but, but at the end of the day, this is a nice little feature. It collects your video and whatnot. So that, that, that's all kind of good stuff. So again, ladies and gentlemen, uh, keep uh, tipping those cashiers. Let's be safe out there. Have a great day and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye now.